the People's National Party's presidential elections of Saturday, November 7, 2020, is a testament to good democracy. Saturday's presidential elections that served to elect a new president of the People's National Party seems to have been handled quite efficiently. It was conducted in a transparent and civil manner as well. And most significantly of all, there is no remaining enmity between the two presidential aspirants, as they have been going up to challenge for the presidency of the People's National Party from September 27, 2020. For the most part, the People's National Party's members and supporters seem to be united and seem to be in agreement with the mandate that was issued by the delegates on Saturday to elect Mark Golding as the sixth president of the People's National Party. This is very much different from the 2019 aftermath of that PNP leadership race between Peter Bunting and Dr. Peter Phillips. According to many, it is a signal that credits the candidates who challenge for the presidency of the People's National Party. Both Miss Lisa Hanna, who is the Member of Parliament from Senan Southeastern, and Mark Golden, who is the Member of Parliament for Southern St. Andrew, has maintained a good stance and has been cordial with each other and has encouraged their supporters to adhere to the code of conduct and to behave in a civil and transparent manner during both the presidential campaign and the presidential elections. So their approach to this presidential election must be commended. Their behavior reflected largely on their supporters and it is their victory to ensure that the party had a democratic front when it came to the elections. In an effort to ensure that the mandate about unity that both of them have mentioned during the lead up to the elections will remain in place as the party continues on a path to rebuild and reform its organization. Lisa Hanna was very gracious in conceding that Mr. Mark Golden was the victor. Mark Golden immediately reached out to Lisa Hanna and invited her to lead a team to meet with him and his presidential campaign team as they paved the way forward to ensure that the PNP had a clear vision of the future. Lisa Hanna was also gracious and quickly extended her congratulations to Mark Golden. It is now very clear that both Lisa Hanna and Mark Golden have accepted that unity within their political organization must be their shared and first priority. Many have issued their congratulations to Mark Golden on his victory as the sixth president of the People's National Party, and they have extended their well wishes to him as he attempts to undertake this huge task of remodeling, reforming, and rebuilding the People's National Party. And this was in a readiness for a call from the nation, whenever the circumstances were so to dictate, because the PNP needs to be ready, and it should be their primary focus to make themselves ready, not just as a party that is in opposition, but I'm sure it is one of their primary mandates to ensure that they will be ready if the Jamaican electorate were so to decide that they should now become the holders of state power in the next five years. Many also issued their commendations to Lisa Hanna for having put up an excellent fight in the presidential elections, which she only lost by 296 votes. Her loss defied the public opinion polls, which showed that she was leading Mark Golden. But the results are a clear sign of her popularity at the national level. And she can use this popularity in the future. 
because she is merely 45 years old and she can challenge in the next decade or the next five years for the presidency of the People's National Party if she so desires. But maybe Miss Hannah has been beaten too many times. This last defeat comes after she was beaten in her attempt to challenge for the vice presidency of the party in the past. Sometimes elections are between political parties and leaders who have similar policy and ideas but are different in personality. It could be argued that the People's National Party's presidential election was an example of these elections and contests. Research has shown that the critical determinant for success is leadership, and this has been shown in research about history and economic development activities, specifically political leadership. However, the dilemma is that quality leadership is a rare gift. Electoral democracy does not always offer the best talent for leadership, but it provides the best system of identifying and developing and fostering political leadership with the understanding that the person who emerges from the elections can make a profound and a significant difference. Political leadership must involve a clear vision that has purpose for the good of the majority of the people. It must also possess an ability to organize and engage the support of majority of the persons who are actively supporting that vision. And thirdly, it must also involve a managerial capacity to lead and supervise the implementation of policy goals. Democratic elections are the best way to ascertain the will of the persons who are in the majority. But it is also very important that the party who comes out victorious moves to reassure that all views will be taken into account in the formulation of any future policy decision. There must be a stress on the importance of listening to the persons who did not vote for the person who was victorious in the elections. There have been similar issues across the Caribbean and many persons have been re-elected to their original posts. And this proves that they are trusted leaders and that a majority of the populace believes that they should continue leading the country. Some Caribbean leaders have campaigned on the platform of proven leadership and have pointed to their track record, which includes possibly issues in regards to economic development, construction, sometimes even health, and looking out for the financial affairs of the country. And they continue to salute their own achievements and their service, and they campaign on these issues, and they campaign on these goals that they were able to achieve in previous administrations. At the conclusion of the People's National Party's presidential elections on Saturday, November 7th, it seems a majority of the delegates would have voted for Mark Golden because he won by approximately 300 votes. So there is no doubt that the majority has spoken. And because of the way that the elections were handled, it speaks to transparency, civility, and of course, democracy. And the aftermath of the elections is quite calm. And the PNP have presented a united front. So much that they are currently worried about the post of new general secretary, deputy general secretaries, deputy chairman and chairman, causing a further rift in the political organization. Well, we hope that 
Lisa Hanna and Mark Golding will be able to assist in that regards and that the senior members of the People's National Party will be able to present a united front and settle on a decision for all of these posts just to ensure that the best interest of this political organization remains at the forefront of all decisions. Of course, based on the assessment, democracy has won in the People's National Party's presidential elections. And we hope that this will continue to be the way forward for them with future elections and that they will not return to a place where the aftermath of the elections further causes damages to the political organization. If you agree or disagree with the matters that have been discussed, please leave your comments down below. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and be safe.